What's going on, everyone, and thanks for, uh, for tuning in to Press for Earth. This is your host, Kyle LeBlanc, media set to inform, inspire, and empower. So today, we're going to be discussing a little bit of Saudi Arabia and Turkey. We're going to be discussing, uh, first off, Saudi Arabia and Turkey may be sending ground troops to Syria. Uh, we discussed this a little bit in our previous video. We're going to be delving into that in further detail in this video. We have here from France 24 News, we have Saudi Arabia and Turkey may send ground troops to Syria. Uh, it seems the mainstream Western media uh, seem, seem, seem to be avoiding this uh, entirely and uh, not commenting on this issue. Now, Saudi Arabia has claimed this uh, before uh, earlier, uh, but there was not much to confirm this uh, as of yet. But now we have the Times of India as well also reporting on this. If there is a strategy against IS, then Turkey and Saudi Arabia could enter into ground operations. Foreign Minister Melvit Kavusoglu. Uh, Forgive me for butchering that, I'm sure. It was quoted as saying by the, um, like the, like, Yeni Safak Habertuk newspapers after taking part in the Munich Security Conference. Some say Turkey is reluctant to take part in the fight against Daesh, but uh, it is Turkey that is making the most concrete proposals, he said. So that's fascinating to see that uh, Turkey is making the most concrete proposals in this. Uh, Saudi Arabia and Turkey both see the ousting of President Bashar, uh, Bashar al-Assad as, uh, as essential for ending Syria's five-year civil war and, are, and uh, are bitterly critical of Iran and, and, and Russia's support of the regime. Now, of course, that gets into further uh, attacking Iran and Russia, uh, who are linked by a mutual defense agreement. They are uh, bound uh, to each other. This is where the alliances get in. If you uh, really uh, analyze World War One, you'll see that's what drew some countries who never even really had any um, uh, interest in the fight and the conflict or even wanted to participate at all uh, were dragged in based on uh, alliances and a mutual defense agreement, which caused them uh, and forced them uh, by uh, law to, to, um, uh, to come to other countries' aid and defense. Uh, so we're seeing that now. So if one was to attack Iran, let's say, and uh, a conflict was to break out, or Turkey with uh, NATO, uh, uh, like Article 5, where uh, an attack on one is an attack on everyone, uh, either one of these scenarios could draw other countries into the war and uh, could escalate into a worldwide conflict or a world war. Uh, definition of a world war, of course, does not have to involve every country on the planet to be a world war, but uh, the most powerful, most influ uh, like influential countries and its proxies. Uh, it's usually uh, what accounts as a world war. So meanwhile, Turkey has also been tightening relations with Qatar, another key opponent of the Assad in, uh, in the Syria conflict. Uh, relations with many Sunni Muslims in Saudi Arabia have worn considerably in recent months. Ties have been damaged by Saudi Arabia's role in the 2013 ousting of Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi, a close ally of Ankara. So you can see there, uh, relations are continuing and continuing to be destroyed here. Um, we have tensions rising with multiple different nations in the area and of course the alliances we just previously discussed is really what's going to be uh what we have to uh, like to really look at and analyze here um because that could escalate further and uh, draw uh, like different nations into the conflict that uh, should not be there otherwise so thanks for tuning in everyone to press for earth hope you guys enjoyed the content uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button we're gonna have videos new uh, like new videos every monday wednesday friday the goal is to hit daily content of course uh, make sure to check us out uh, we'll be in mexico uh, this week these videos will be uh, scheduled to upload for you guys and uh, make sure to check us out on periscope at uh, press for earth at press for earth and uh, we'll have some live broadcasts of mexico looking at the mexican drug trade and the cartels that are currently uh, ongoing uh, uh, like escalation in mexico we're going to be looking at some of that and uh, just uh, having a good time and uh, taking uh, some time to use some nice backdrops and discuss with you guys and do some live broadcasts and really get uh, a feel for what you guys want out of this new independent media because that's what this media is all about is building media that we're all a part of so stay tuned guys we got a lot more content coming to press for earth make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to join us and uh, be a part of this community and uh, of course uh, uh, share the content it's the most important part to really get this message out there and reach more and more people and uh, that's what we want to do here really build a community that can change the world stay tuned guys we got a lot more content coming to press for